welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day 23 of 3D Premise. Now as you have probably already seen, this is not one of my normal characters. Um, it is actually the Metallica Ninja Star. Now I've been a fan of Metallica for a very long time, since I was young. They actually just released a new album, which is a rare occurrence for them. Which I've had kind of mixed experiences with their recent albums. Um, but I actually really liked some of the songs on this new album, so I figured it was a perfect time to make one of these Ninja Stars. Now, if you're not familiar with the Metallica Ninja Star, it is basically just the M that is in their logo, starting of Metallica. I'll put it up here so you can see it. Um, repeated four times around, and they basically form a pattern like a Ninja Star. So, in order to create this, I took an image online um, that I just found through Google Images and converted it to an SVG using a website that I will link below. Um, and then I imported it into Fusion 360. And then I extruded it up and tried to chamfer the edges to give it sort of a blade type of look. And that didn't work very well just because when it was converting it to an SVG, it put points in kind of weird places. And Fusion 360 just didn't like it very much when trying to chamfer. So I actually went in um, after that and kind of traced just one of the M's with um, normal lines in a sketch. And then I patterned that around four times to get what you see here. And the chamfers worked a lot better on that. And if you look at the files down in the description, um, I did create one of these that has um, chamfers on both sides so it'll look more like a normal ninja star because it'll be very pointy on the top, blades on either side, but I could not get that to print very well. Simplify 3D really does not like tiny points when trying to put supports in there, and I, I ultimately couldn't get it to um, put supports under there, and I could have gone in and manually added supports, but that was pretty tedious. And um, for my purposes, where I'll just be displaying it, I decided to just go back in and add a flat back to it and just do the, um, the chamfer on one side. So that way it prints without supports, it prints very easily, and it looks great. Now, I also created a stand for it because like I said, my purpose is just display. And as you can see, it's just kind of a two peg pattern there and it fits perfectly in this little square. So, just slides in, pressure fits, and then you've got a little display stand for your Metallica Ninja Star. And I think that looks perfect. Um, as you can tell, my wife did take it, sand it a little bit, and put some filler primer on there. Then she sprayed it with some metallic spray paint. And then of course she painted the stand black, but, but you don't normally have to do that. Just the thing that I printed it with was like a teal blue, so I figured black would look better. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this for the Metallica fans out there. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and get subscribed. We're getting close to the end of Primus, but I've still got some pretty good models heading your way. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Day 23 down. I'll see you tomorrow.